Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at the Realme 5. This was released last year, around about August time, 2019. A budget device, starting at around £130, depending on the website you go on. On Banggood, it's at £130 at the moment for the 32 gig and 3 gigabyte version. This though, is the 4 gig of RAM and the 128 gigabytes of storage. And I've seen that on eBay in the UK for around £170. Um, so affordable device for most people. So it's 5,000 milliamp battery, a quad camera. It does have a plastic uh, back, calling it Gorilla Gas 3. But Realme have done some nice and reliable devices in the past. So in the box, you get manuals, a micro USB charging cable, SIM tray ejector tool, two pin plug, a silicon case, and the phone. So let's get down to the, the business end, the smartphone itself. This is the blue variant, and look how beautiful that looks. It is only plastic, but it still looks stunning, doesn't it? And look at that four camera setup. That's quite beautiful. So the four lenses, you have a 119 degree ultra wide camera. You have a 12 megapixel camera, a portrait, and a macro, so it looks really nice. Fingerprint sensor there at the back. It is a micro USB device. Some people might not like that. Uh, you have speaker there, microphone, and the 3.5 mm socket, which is good. On the side we have volume rocker, SIM tray. On that side you have the power button. And on the top, it's clear. So the front camera is a 13 megapixel sensor. So it's 6.5 inch display, it's only 720p. Looks really nice, let's turn it on. Real me. Okay, we're here, let me go and set this up very quickly. Okay guys, can we just admire how beautiful the display is on this device? 720p display, 6.5 inch IPS LCD panel. The display is rather impressive brightness uh, let's go up a little bit more yep that display looks very very good so the Realme 5 is running android 9 but Realme have their own it's called color os version 6 so that's over the top and Realme do have a few sort of apps which some people may call bloated applications um, there's opera browser on there and web novel Lazada whatever that is so it's not a stock Android experience by any means but the interface seems nice you have the app drawer there seems quite slick a nice size for my big hands anyway just perfect I can reach the top and volume on the left and power on the right for me comfortable position here up and down and power on the right. Fingerprint sensor works. And that is really quick. That's super quick. So this is running Snap Snapdragon 665. That's no slouch, that isn't. What I want to delve into is the camera because it's a four camera setup and we're in photo mode at the moment. So we're going to take a few pictures. Okay, so the first one here coming up, um, paint pot in normal photo mode, one time zoom, you can click it to go two and five, and I keep it a one and shoot. And that is a super impressive photo. Look at the detail there in them ridges, really, really nice. Now it's got a, uh, it's done a bokka effect, That's sort of a natural blurred background. And we're not even in portrait mode. Let's switch to portrait mode and shoot. Again, that's pretty decent as well. Good detail. Go back into photo mode. At the very top here, you can activate the ultra wide angled lens. There we go, ultra wide. And pop. Okay, so you certainly fit a hell of a lot in there. The Ucatel box is red on there when in fact it's actually orange. So there's a bit of um color accuracy issue there on the ultra wide angled lens. 
let's click back and if we click this menu there we get some more settings there's nightscape and ultra macro best quality at four centimeters it says so let's see how close we can get and that is quite close that looks really good obviously we, you can experiment with other subjects and items but yeah, that doesn't look too bad so from there that's a good but if we take the macro off there we go look that's what you get just a pure blur and the camera cannot focus at that distance at all so that's good let's go to video mode now in video mode you can shoot up to 4k but i'm going to switch it to 1080p just a standard resolution for this video and let's have a look Okay, so we're in 1080p on the real Mi 5. Testing audio quality, video quality and stability. I mean, that looks really good at the moment. The box doesn't look red there, it looks pretty much accurate in terms of colour. It's orange and orange, so that's good. Let's go straight into a bright window. Let's handle that all right, and we're back. That's good. Okay, that looks pretty good, that does. Okay, let's switch to selfie. And what do we get here? What can we shoot video in? 720 and 1080p, so I'm going to leave it at 1080p for a selfie video, and here we go. 1080p on the front facing camera on the Realme 5, looking at audio quality, visual quality, stabilisation as always, that is in front of a window, it's quite bright today, but that doesn't look too bad, it does make my hair look a little bit darker than it normally is, I am wearing a black t-shirt, that looks okay. Let me know what you guys think to the Realme 5 selfie camera. Switch to photo mode now. Nice full screen photo. That doesn't look too bad at all. That looks really, really good. Maybe a little bit of over sharpening there. Maybe over process on your face when you zoom in a little bit. But from there, that looks pretty decent. Let's switch, switch to portrait. Well, edge detection has definitely worked there. Quality looks okay. Again, I think there's a sort of maybe over processing, slightly over sharpening. But when you look at it normally without zooming in, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so that was a look at the camera and quite impressed actually. Lots of features, so many different kinds of things you can do with these cameras. So let's have a look at some video. Video test. And if you remember, it's only 720p display. So if we go to quality and change that to 720p and enjoy some of this footage, which looks really, really good. Some 4K footage here of London. That display looks excellent. Beautiful, look at that. So although it's a 720p display, the display is very good. Yeah, quite happy with that. Onto the audio test, we have one loudspeaker there at the bottom. Let's turn it up. That's max volume. That's quite loud.
That's a decent loudspeaker that is, guys. Nice and clear. It's probably lacking a tiny little bit of bass, but in terms of the sound quality, I think the sound quality is pretty good, actually. So that's it, guys. That was the quick look at the Realme 5, an unboxing. I'm quite impressed with it at the moment. Price is from around 130 to 170 pound, depending on what variant you get in terms of RAM size and storage. But I think it looks excellent. Got a nice array of cameras that you can play with. A little bit of bloatware on there. It's running Android 9 and it is supposed to be upgrading to Android 10 in the future. Looks and feels excellent, even with that plastic back and only 720p resolution, but that doesn't bother me. Fingerprint sensor is really quick. Superb. So any questions, guys, please pop them down below. Links for this device are in the description. And although it's only a 2019 device, it's 2020 at the moment, it's still going to be good in 2020. It's still going to be good in 2021 as well, the way phones are going. My partner is using a Galaxy S8 from two or three years ago. And that in 2020 is absolutely fine. So thank you for watching, guys. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.